Good morning, everybody. Just went and got my coffee. I went to Tim Hortons this morning and got three large coffees. I feel a little sore this morning, but I find when I drink coffee, it finally takes it away. Man, I'm so sore from yesterday. Honestly, man, my fucking body is like, oh, it's like fucking sniffed up. And everywhere. I'm lifting those fucking bricks and laying the bricks. They're all back on my upper back is all fucking sore. Like, my hands, they feel fucking sore too. So, I'm not adapted to that. It's just, every time you take a few days off, boom, you get fucking sore again. Always from it. I do anyway. And, uh, so, that's new adaptations. I'm going to gain strength from that again as well. Like I do every time I do something different at work, which is, I do a lot of the same thing, but it's when you take a few days off and you come back, you're fucking sore from it. I'm not like terribly sore, but I feel it right now more now. Like everywhere, I feel like like I'm bigger from it actually. Like I had a good workout, it's different. And then today I gotta go back, and I gotta do it again. I gotta finish. I gotta lay all those fucking bricks. I got about a foot left to do. I gotta bring up another probably 80 bricks, and I'm done with that. And then I gotta do the corbeling on top of the chimney. Let it dry a little bit for a couple hours. And then I gotta pour the cap, and then I'm done the, the chimney. And then I'll take it off on Tuesday, all, all the forms and everything, and then I'll move that to another spot. So I got a bigger chimney to do next week. For, um, I don't know, the one will put me a little bit ahead, the next one I'm hoping. It's gonna be like a double chimney, so double money. Man, I go to the coffee, and then I just can't believe what's going on everywhere now, man. There's like, I've seen this for a while now, and it's happening everywhere. There's, there's so many homeless people out there, and they're just desolate, man. It's like, why is that now? Like, there's working people out there making $30 plus an hour, and they're living in their cars. That's pretty sad, I think, man. Don't you guys think that? What's going on? Like, it wasn't like that, like, eight years ago. You know, 10 years ago, yeah, there was homeless people, but it was mostly people that didn't work, wasn't it? A lot of people that didn't work or something, right? Now it's everybody. Like, to be honest, if I didn't do my trade, huh, I don't even know where I'd be, man. I got opportunities always to make money. I did that, like, the skills I did. Not to be not homeless. I did it to buy a house and everything, right? I learned, but now it's going to be impossible to buy a house, man. The houses here are a million dollars. Like everywhere in Canada is, you get a shack and it's like, it used to be like sixty grand for this house. Now it's fucking four hundred thousand dollars for a little shack. Where I'm from, all the houses went up and up and up in price. The only ones that did good in life are the people who got it early. I should have, uh, you know, kept houses. I had like a house a long time ago, but it didn't last long. Ago. But if I still would have had that one, it would have been way better, right? But I just spend my money as I go, man. Like that's how it goes, man. You know, I'm not one paycheck away or anything from homelessness. But to be honest, if I lost my job after a while, like what would happen? I'd be like everyone. I'd be like that, man. You know, and it's no fault of theirs in, in many ways. Yeah, I may not have saved the money and all that. They might not have saved it. They might have spent it on, you know, drugs and alcohol and whatnot. But these people are working, a lot of them. And they're living in the vans. They're living in cars. They're living in... They have trucks with uh, campers on them all over the place. You know? And it's... I find that very sad, man, when they're working like that. And it's been happening for the last... Mostly for the last eight years, Right? I don't think the people in charge here are worth the cost, right? Man, it's got to be cha- it's got to be some change coming up here, man. That's what we need. Change, real, real change. 
What's gonna happen in a few years, man? When more people, people are gonna get even desperate, man. Like if, if the things don't change, they're gonna get more and more desperate. And then what? The crime rate has gone up. They're letting people out. They go in jail. They let them out. The jails are so full. So you can, you have to like basically murder somebody to stay in jail now, right? It's like if I became homeless or whatever, what, I just end up robbing things. I'm not gonna ask for money or on the streets. You know, I'm not going to do that. And then I'm taking what I have to do, right? You know, end up in jail, they'll let me out again, right? And I'll just have to do it all over again. But at least I'm eating. That's what I would do, man. Like, what are they going to really do, right? They're going to throw me in jail? Okay, keep me in jail. Now I, I can eat now. You know, I got a place to lay my head now, right? Three hots in the cot. I can work out all I want to. You know, the only thing missing are women, obviously. But sometimes you can, uh, the women can go in men's jails now here. The men can go in women's jails here now. It's just, what's going on in this place? Things have to change. I, every time I see people that are just, they're desperate, man, I gotta like, Buy them a coffee and all that. Like, I have to do that or something, right? Or give them my change. I carry cash sometimes, man. So, like, my change, like... And I'm not trying to say nothing. It doesn't make me feel real good about it either because it's not right, man. You know? It's like a, actually a monthly payment almost, man. We cannot have four more or six more years of what's going on right now. Can't. And I'm sure it's worse on the mainland. <laughs> My son tells me there's so many people now, like, on the streets back home. And it wasn't like that before. Things have to change, man, or otherwise, what's going to happen? You know, soon they're going to come knocking on your door, saying, we want your house, man. And there's not going to be anybody to stop them. Peace.